Vancouver's Lindsay Butterworth used the COVID-19 lockdown to hone her skills and train even harder. She then ran the 800 meters in less than two minutes, well below the Tokyo qualifying standard, to punch her ticket to her first ever Olympic Games. For the women's 800 meters, it was one minute, 59 seconds, and then 50 milliseconds. And you did it in 159.19 at uh, qualifiers in Montreal. So to be able to run sub two, was there anything that you changed in your training? Um, I wouldn't say we changed much in training. I think the pandemic allowed us to do a little bit more volume over the last year because we weren't racing as much. So maybe that helped a little bit, but I think it was just like consistent training. I've been with the same coach for the last 10 years and uh, I really believe in her program and we work super well together. So I think it was just that like hard work, consistency and knock on wood, staying healthy for all these years. Has there been any sort of protocols that you have to follow that have been put in place for the upcoming Tokyo Olympics? It will obviously be a bubble and we won't be able to go out and go shopping or go to a restaurant or anything um, and we'll be tested every day. And the goal is for that the majority of athletes, if not all, are fully vaccinated. Um, so I feel pretty safe going into the games. I've heard recently that there may be no fans now. I'm not 100% sure on that, but we've kind of gotten used to these protocols over the last year and a half of competing. Um, for me, it, it doesn't really matter if there are fans or not in the stands at this point. I'm just really happy that we're able to compete because the level of competition doesn't change. It's still the best in the world. How difficult was it to train during this pandemic? Did you have to deal with being uh, stuck in quarantine in the process? Um, lucky for me in my sport, it is pretty easy to train, um, and keep up the level of fitness just with running. And, uh, we ended up getting some weights at home. So we kind of turned our one bedroom basement suite into a gym. Um, and so luckily it was kind of like therapeutic in a way to, to just be able to get out and run. Your fiance, Justin Kent, an elite athlete in his own right, having won the Vancouver Sun run a few years back. Can, when there's two uber competitive athletes in a couple, can you guys even have a game night? Can you play Monopoly? Can you play Scrabble without going to blows? Yeah, I think um, he definitely makes fun of me for that because I'm probably the more outwardly competitive one. So sometimes when we're playing games, it's like, okay, calm down. It's just a game. And I think sometimes he might let me win sometimes. So I'm not a sore loser. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, it, it also just works so well with us. Like he is so supportive of me and does so much for me. I would not be where I am at all without him. And just like he, he gets it too, because he's an athlete and we can go for runs together and that's like our bonding time as well. The Tokyo games run July 23rd through August the 8th. For City News, I'm Sportsnet 650's Caroline Frolic.